What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host here at Halfman Half Tech. And as you can see here, when it comes to Mac OS Big Sur, we now have the next point update. And as you can see, it's Mac OS Big Sur 11.6. According to Apple, what they are saying here, you can see that they say that this update is recommended for all users and improves the security of mac os so if you do have a device that supports mac os pixel be it a macbook pro macbook air or whatever device this is an update that brings about a lot of security updates and some of them are very crucial so stick around and let me show you what this update holds so if we go here you can see some other updates that were released by apple today mac os pixel 11.6 of course this is the video for that we have ios 14.8 we have iPad OS 14.8 and lastly we have watch OS 7.6.2 most of these videos I do I have already done videos on them and I periodically do watch OS iOS and Mac OS update videos so if you haven't subscribed a sub to the channel would be great now without wasting a lot of time when it comes to Mac OS Pixel 11.6 you can see the build number that came with this update and it's 20 g165 this has been updated from the previous mac os pixel version that was released about a month ago which was mac os pixel 11.5.2 that had a build number that was 20g95 so the 95 has been incremented to a 165 that is the uh, build number that came with this update and in case you are curious about the update size you can see that it's ranging from about 3 gigs you can see this is points 2.93 gigs and then this other one is 2 0.64 gigs so it depends on the device that you're updating and also to what what uh, version you are coming from now with that in mind there's two questions that have been asked that i want to answer and the first one has to do with uh, not people not seeing this update so if you're not seeing this mac os pixel 11.6 what you can do is basically go into your system preferences and delete or remove any mac os pixel 11 beta profile that you might have and then check for the software update again you should be able to see mac os pixel 11.6 and then the second question that i've been asked over on twitter a number of time is that since mac os uh, 12 mac os monterey is just around the corner it's literally just like two weeks away in the next week or two we should be seeing it so people are concerned that if i update to mac os big sur 11.6 would that hinder me from getting mac os 12 when it comes out in the few days that are left and the answer for you is no updating your device to mac os big sur 11.6 won't hinder you from updating or getting mac os 12 when it comes out the reason why apple released this update is because it has a number of security improvements that are very crucial and usually apple doesn't release an update before the week of the uh, release note since the iphone 13 event is going to take place tomorrow but this is one that they needed to push out quickly because it has a crucial update which i'm going to be covering so if you update to mac os pixel 11.6 you'll be able to get mac os 12 monterey as long as you have a supported device and it will be available as an over the air update so you can easily go into your system preferences and update to it so these are the supported devices devices for mac os uh, monterey keep in mind that they are slightly different from mac os pixel so these are now like the devices that you need if you are on big Sur and have any of the devices that are listed here mac os 12 will be an over the air update for you and you don't have to worry about not getting the update so let's talk about why apple released mac os pixels because you can see that they just said that it's recommended but i want to show you some security updates that were released by today so this is the apple security update page as you can see and it tells you all about the security updates that were released 
so for those that are on macOS Catalina and macOS Mojave, you can see today, September 13, 2020, it's uh, almost 8 p.m. That's the time when I'm recording this video. So you can see that for Catalina and Mojave, Safari has been updated with the new security patches and you, the version that you are going to be seeing is 14.1.2 if you're on Catalina and Mojave. And then also we have some security updates for Catalina and also if you go to macOS Pixel, you can see that macOS Pixel 11.6 was released today. And we now want to see what are the security updates that came with this update. So first of all, you can see the major, this is why I think this Apple, I mean, this update was pushed out quickly before the Apple event. And it's because of this core graphics bug. Now, to simply put it, you can see that the impact here, Apple said processing a malicious crafted PDF may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited. Now, if this sounds like Greek to you and you don't understand what it means, let me put it into simpler terms for you. So this is basically a zero click iMessage bug that is targeting Apple image rendering abilities and they've some somehow managed to find like weaknesses with that and i did post it over on my twitter let's go to this pegasus um, page and be able to find out what it means so you can see that it, it was identified uh, about it says we identified nine bahrain activists whose iphones were compromised successfully or hacked with NSO group Pegasus spyware between this date to this date. So this had to do with iMessage and also with Echo Graphics glitch that were being able to uh, that they were actually able to compromise. And you can see that some of the activists they've been moved around. So you can see different locations where the um, activists that were affected uh, moved to. And you can see that if you are in London, you can see that that is among the affected region. So it's not to say that this is only affecting Bahraini, this region only, but it's something that's wild spray. Now, with this in mind, since we know what this does, nine to five rather mac rumors i don't know why i confused the two mac rumors posted this article over on twitter to try and explain what's going on since it's affecting um apple devices and core graphics through iMessage. if you see this article that i posted over on my twitter it's the latest article you notice that it has severe consequences and it says this spy where it says this spyware can do everything an iPhone user can do on their device and more. So it's quite scary. And if you do get notifications or you have your iMessage um, turned on, this is an update that you would want to pay, uh, pay close attention to as it can give those root privileges to um, hackers and your device might be compromised, be it an iOS, a macOS, as, as long as it gets affected. And you can see that Apple referred to it as crafted PDF. It can be a link, it can be an attachment. So I do advise that you update to macOS Pixel 11.6 for this main core graphic issue that it addresses and also if you get a lot of notifications like i do from twitter or from uh, different websites and you get a lot of dms from people you don't recognize please don't download pdfs or click on links that are taking you to malicious websites as that won't help you in the long run so that is the main issue or the main bug that this update aims at resolving and then the second one you can see here that it has to do with webkit so that, those are the uh, two issues or bugs that this update aims at resolving and now since macOS uh, Monterey or macOS 12 is around the corner you can see the day today that it's September 13 and tomorrow is the Apple event for the iPhone 13 and Apple Watch Series 7 and so on so when it comes to macOS 12 tomorrow after the event we are expecting to get the release candidate or the golden master version and then after the event the following week on the 21st of september that's when i personally think that macOS 
12 Monterey will be available to all supported devices as an over the air update. Now, other than that, that is how this update is. And I do advise you update if you know someone that knows someone that might not be able to update. So this is a recommendation and also you can see it does fix a lot of issues and bugs so if you haven't updated your mark yet to mac os pixel 11.6 then this is an update that i recommend that you do update now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to uh, this mac os update and if you like this video uh, please leave a like and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace